Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of, well, Le Plata. So guys, we are basically at war with the mighty Germans. The Germans are trying to attack us right now. And we are not going to let them win. Win, okay? So, we have this army right here, trying to destroy our army. And we are trying our best to make sure they do not win. If they win in that battle, we could potentially lose all of this area. So, let us hope this goes into our favor. Let us hope the Germans are not going to have a strong army. That's basically what I'm saying. They're going to go send in 10k right over there. Um, we might lose that area. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You guys combine, make a good death stack to have some engineers as I do. Cavalry, yeah. It's all good. Okay. And you guys are all going to go to this unit over here. In fact, why don't we just go send all you guys over there anyways. Let's see, any more cannons? Nah. Okay. We're all good then. Just go send those guys over there and we can actually start building up a new unit. Um, not over here apparently. Apparently we have some difficulties. And, oh, I'm also going to take one second to go and create, to go and upgrade all my regions. So see you guys in a second. Okay, and now that I've officially upgraded every single one of my provinces to now have better forts, I'm also going to be building my uh, new navy of steamer ships. Why do I want to build a gigantic army of steamer ships? Well, because you know what? I'm getting tired of how slow our clippers are, so I'm going to need them to be faster, especially for the future. I'm also going to start decreasing my uh, amount of money because right now we're in laissez-faire kind of government, so that means our economy is going to be really good for a while. I'm also going to not go any lower than that because I'm fighting the Germans right now and I don't really want to be cocky. Because uh, the Germans could instantly destroy me with the fact they have a 10k death stack right there. Right there, come on. Destroy, destroy, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them before they arrive. Destroy them before they arrive. Destroy them before they arrive. Four, three, yes. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, almighty Buddha. Oh, oh wait, 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 what's our country's main religion? Oh, we're Catholic. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, also, go siege up this land back, because we actually, if they actually have that land, then that means they're going to be able to, like, uh, dock things, in which we don't want them to do that. So we're going to go siege back this land, make them so that they still suffer attrition over here, and they can fight me as much as they want. It's cool with me. And it looks like, yeah, they're losing the battles, and they're losing the fact that the Annex Wari is almost gone. They should soon be accepting the fact that the little Argentinians over here beat them up. <laughs> because we we are not supposed to be like this tough, but we are an awesome nation, people. We are an awesome nation. Uh, we do have some difficulties, though, when it comes to, like... Good thing they can't actually heal over here, because otherwise that'd be BS. But, let's see, is there any kind of hostilities? There's only one hostile siege. Alright, and it's not really that big of an issue... Yeah, I think we basically got this all covered. I mean, America is basically going to provide the meat and the gritty of it, so that Germany can't really do much against us. And that's really nice to know, because I really don't want Germany to destroy me. All right, and we're going to heal up all of our soldiers before we go attack that death, that 10k death stack. And let's see. And I'm not the war leader, so I cannot end the war anytime I want to. I wish I could, but Germany, you're gonna have to wait. I can't exactly do much to come and help you. In fact, is there anything I could, is there anything I would like to add? We cannot add a war goal, uh, yeah, we already had a status quo war goal. Okay, you guys heal up a little bit more, men. And as we expected, sometime I expected this. I expected this at some point. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. Those Jacobson rebels just cannot, for the life of me, remain quiet about anything. They must always be in my business and always be trying to revolt. That just basically means, people, that we basically have to figure out what the hell do they want. They wanted low pensions. I give you guys social spending and you guys still did this to me. I... I am more angry than I can ever say about anything in my life. I'm also going to divide this unit right now because I'm going to need at least two units to go cover up all of this revolting nonsense, hui bu, hui o other. Most of these, most of these death stacks aren't that powerful either. 
So two units should be fine. And then over here in the north, I'm going to wait until we destroy this death stack, and then I'll start dividing it up. Because that's, yeah. Going to have to deal with that. It's going to be annoying. And now we're going to go back into negative buddy. So now we're just waiting for our troops to heal up a little bit more. And they just keep giving me more and more negative modifiers. Status quo. Oh, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Aw, thank you guys. You actually made my life a lot easier. Uh, but now I'm going to have to deal with the major revolts in my country for like the 60th time. And of course, you know, they're my infamous hated enemy, the Jacobson Rebels. <sighs> you just gotta love those Jacobson Rebels, everyone. You just gotta love them. And if you don't know this, I'm using the utmost of sarcasm. <laughs> if you haven't already noticed. Okay, but I'm a little bit better now. Let's get those lower pensions just so that they stop being all whiny pants and be all like, Yeah, we love our country. So we kind of need the love of country thing going on. See, now look at all this. Half of them left. They were like, you know, now they, now they give us lower pensions. We don't really need to be at war with them. See? It's just that simple. They literally... An excellent initiative. Do I... Why do I always get cut as bad as against the UK? I will never use that Casas Belli for as long as I live. I guarantee it. Oh, okay. So factory costs got up. I'll get some clean steel because I know I have some good iron deposits in my country. Uh, and look at that. Most of the rebels are now gone. And I'm going to unsiege all this land. And we're going to have even more awesome times. Okay. While this is also happening, let's see. Let's start our new army. <laughs> Well, we rather take advantage of this. Let's start our new army while we're just kind of relaxing and keeping our economy back in order. Everyone, by the way, everyone, we open again. The Panama Canal is completed! Holy shoot, that is a lot of prestige! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, wow! Oh, wow, this was worth it. Losing that much prestige? Yeah, that was worth it. Yeah, now I'm like fifth. I'm definitely a great power. There is no way. Wow. Oh, wow. And just, just upgrade everything over there. Just, wow. Wow. Okay. That, that made me feel like it was all worth it right there. <laughs> that made me feel like it was all worth it. Just, all that heartache, all that pain was all worth it. Also... While we're thinking, while I'm thinking about it, let's convert all this to, uh, clergymen, 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 get clergymen up in here, get the clergymen going, because we want to make sure we get that 2% bonus, oh my goodness, <laughs> oh my goodness, that was insane, oh, and get below radius, there we go, and encourage clergymen. We should have enough factories. Enough people should be immigrating to our country because we're just naturally awesome. But let me see. Immigration is 2,800. America. Oh, yeah. We're out immigrating America and Canada combined. What up? What up? Immigrations. Apparently, three people went to... Uh, 25 people went to the United States of A. Hmm. Don't know why you'd want to go to that country because we're still more awesome. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, so Canada, we can finally influence. Uh, they are still 13th place, which means they probably won't be able to spice up anymore because I don't think they'll be able to. Few standards. I don't want that 11% to revolt against me. So, few standards. And of course, not. Panama de Dividends, yay, we get our monthly money, and I'm also going to decrease this, let's see if I can get this to 60 on everyone, you only pay me 60% of your taxes, people should really like that, they should really take a good, kind look at that, and let's see, we're also increasing our clergymen by a lot, oh man, a couple of these regions are, Colombian territories, we hold land, seas that rightfully belong to Colombian domains, perhaps there's be Pune to hand you over to them, yes, uh, uh, no. Columbia, you have no right to talk to me. Okay? You are my vassal. You have no right to talk to me like you actually deserve stuff, okay? Okay? I don't know what who you think you are, but you need to get, you need to get slapped up beside the head. 
That's stupid. No, we ain't letting you do that. Okay. Who's at war with you now? Oh my goodness. Does no one? You know, actually, if I was to enter this war, I could probably... Uh, well... Let's see. If I decline... Let's see. If... Wally could probably hold out for a little bit. And I would probably have to fight the big, gigantic, scary... America is already at war with somebody else. Yeah, they're protecting their colonial interests. I see. I see how it is. So... Well, America could honestly invade Canada. That could probably give us the bulk of our... You know... Prestige. Uh, maybe I could talk down Peru a little bit. Hmm? Maybe I could do something really radical and free another country, or... Let's see, is there any kind of cores over here? Maybe conquer these? What, how many regions could I get? These are two different regions, so... I don't know. Uh, do I enter? I don't believe I can enter now. That's probably going to cost me a couple of prestige. But I do not believe I can enter in right now. But I will. Don't worry. I will enter in this war eventually. I just first have to wait until you guys survive a little bit. And then once you guys survive a little bit. And America's stopped entering the war of France. Which is kind of stupid. Once they're done with the war of France. And we can go into the war and be like. Hey we're all buddies here. Yay. Oh wow they work fast. <laughs> wow the British work fast. Uh, okay. Find me. Coolio. Just got my Sulfur Brigade just got back up. No, I'm definitely not giving you military access. You, uh, you're actually pretty scary. Okay. Alright. I may have to go send another army over there because I just realized how powerful these guys are. We could potentially get destroyed pretty quickly if I was to not go send a more powerful army. I'm going to go send both these armies over here. Wait until all my steamer ships are over here. Oh, are done. Then go send them both over here. Hopefully the British won't steal anything. Uh, Sakanto is basically dead right now. There's not much I can really do to save Sakanto. They're kind of, they're kind of dead. <laughs> as long as they can make sure they don't can't annex Wari though, I think we have a chance of winning this. Flags burned. Assimilation must continue. Seriously, assimilate those guys. I don't care how you do it, just assimilate them. Okay, assimilate. I appreciate you. Oh, wait, this is part of my new army. Whoops. Okay. You guys move right here then. I completely forgot that I'm building a new army for the, uh, for my troops. Yeah, it's for my troops. So, yeah, just continue. And, yeah. Why is everyone. Why have I not got. I've seriously wondered. Why have I not gotten the event yet that makes me annex all these guys? I would seriously love that event by now. Like, literally, I would love that event. Oh, wow, you guys have crushed almost all of Sakanto's army. Oh, wow, they are going to annihilate Sakanto. Oh, wow, that is literally a scary, 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 scary army. Oh, yeah, if I, if I don't enter this war, they won't live past another year, roughly. Oh, by the way, I'm going to have to increase taxes on you guys. It, it, I hate to do this, I really do, but we need to make sure we're making money, so, yeah. Kind of stinks that we have to increase taxes, I know, but just kind of dims the brakes, because we keep having some of our factories collapse. Uh, I'm going to start paying attention to some of our factories and make sure they actually grow. Um, but yeah, now we got good money. But, wow, the British like crushing pretty quickly. Hopefully, I'm still hoping that they won't be able to do anything. Come on, Sakanto, don't give up. Oh, wow. Did they add a... Call an ally against Sakanto. <sighs> oh. It's against... I almost feel like there is something I'm missing here, but they should have already been like... Annexed by now. And I'm not seriously being mean to these people, but they should have probably already been annexed. I'm gonna see something. One infamy. You know what? This ain't worth it. <laughs> as much as as much as I'd love to get colonial powers, this just ain't worth it. All y'all, I don't care anymore. Fight your own wars. We're done. 
Alright, in fact, with Sarkanto, as soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna see if I can justify war, maybe steal some territory from them before the end of this war. It's like, yeah, I think I've, I think I've dealt with enough of this. Protecting this much colonial land and then, okay, there we go. Let's see, all you guys want to take is one region, so, yeah. I'll just go steal the rest of this region, just because that's the way I am. That's the kind of person I am. So Kanto ended the war. So Kanto's now at war with other people. I'm gonna go just basically just go conquer Sokanto. Because I just want to end this. This is like, I should have done this from the beginning. But like, I was trying to see how this mechanic of like, unsphering and sphering that would work. But apparently it's a little bit buggy because Europeans declared war on me like six different times. Before anything happened. So let me get these 1920. I'm missing like one ship. Where's that one ship? If it's all the way on the other side, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna wait for it. Um... Okay. So, you guys group up. Group up, get on the ships. Go right over here. And... Sokanto, bye-bye. I've had about... I've had... I've had literally about as much as I could take from you guys. So let's finally just integrate you forcefully into my land. Uh, okay. Oh, and... Spread out as much as you can because they don't have the army to support me or I should say fight me Also, what region are these guys trying to take because I have to make sure I get that region uh, Tukaki, Tukari Let's see, Tukari, Bafaya, Benin, Tukari Okay So, to make sure that they don't get Tukari I'm gonna go basically go siege up just that land so that they cannot use it Because if I siege up this land, that means they'll eventually get a ticking war score or I'll just make sure they don't use this land. Okay, spread out, make sure they don't get any of this. None. They will not get one piece of this land, because all this land belongs to me. Netherlands, I claimed this a long time ago. You know it. Stop acting like you guys want this land. This is my land. All this over here is my land. Especially how many wars I had to fight for this land. It's my land. Okay? I want you to fundamentally understand that. This is my land, it's no one else's land, but my land. Establishing a penal colony, why not? Alcatraz is on the boat, everyone. Woohoo! Okay, we should be getting our bonus now from clergymen, so now we can switch back to uh, helping our factories. So, encourage the most, the most developed places and keep them with uh, people coming in. That's the places we definitely need to fill up first. It's all the places with all these factories. Hmm. You can keep a little bit supported. Yeah. Because we definitely need to keep our factories supported. Okay. And let's see. Turn in over. Yeah, as you guys can see. And as you can see, the Spanish are going to basically siege up all the unnecessary lands. We're going to siege up all the good lands. And we're just going to siege up as quickly as possible. And let's see. Canada. Oh, by the way. We don't need to be, we need to be supporting that, we need to be supporting that, and Canada, you are now going to be friendly, yay! We are now friendly with our, with our Canadian brethren, so that's good right there. That means potentially we could start ripping them out of the sphere of the British, if the British don't really care about this place. Hopefully they don't. Yay, we get more money! Ah, oh, barnacles. Okay, so they did get, they were able to steal that region from me. But I still get about 1.2. In the end, I'm going to gain about 1.2k in manpower. And I'm getting discredited. What the heck? I'm still gonna gain a lot of I'm still gonna gain a lot of land from this. And this is basically the full extent of my empire because of stupid reasons. <sighs> stupid, stupid reasons. Okay, just keep checking down all the good tech. Just go down there, go straight to Sakanto. Uh, you, you guys gave me such a headache. I don't know why I didn't do this in the beginning. Seriously, I really don't know why. I was too nice, and this is what happened. I honestly could have just done this in the beginning. Ended this very, very soon. I wanted to be all nice and be like, you know, maybe I could just, like, peacefully integrate them. No. You can't peacefully... We, you cannot peacefully integrate people. You must forcibly integrate them so it was my big mistake my very very big mistake 
and uh, these are the days. Low minimum. Why would you guys want that? Why would you guys want me low minimum wage? Oh, and I guess that's the end of today's episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. We have a lot to talk about with the Dutch next turn because I feel like I'm going to go beat the living snot out of the Dutch because they are stealing lots of my land and I don't like that. So, yeah. Other than that, though, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a fun episode today as we bounced back from a lot of different things. We conquered more land, did more stuff, and honestly looking forward to the future. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I might want to, I might want to take this land right here from Brazil. I mean, they're not using it very well as we can see, but if I was to conquer it, I could... Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.